We're joined by Todd Bryant, the president of Healthcare Development Partners, and Anthony Cecil of Lassard, part of the uh, design and build team. First, Todd, to you. Uh, HDP's got a long-standing history here in Winchester in the Valley. That's correct. We, uh, we've been here since uh, the end of 2014 when we purchased the uh, old hospital campus for Valley Health on Clark Street. And uh, uh, you know, since then, we've really invested in the community. We're really excited about uh, Shenandoah Valley, really excited about Winchester and the possibilities for growth. And you know, recently, we also purchased uh, 23 acres adjacent to the main campus at Valley Health, uh, where uh, you know, we're gonna build an active adult community uh, for 160 residents. Uh, active adult being average age of 65 to 70. And so these are fantastic amenities for the city. Uh, we're really excited about that. And then we're here also to talk about our, our, our project uh, on Fairmont Avenue, uh, which we have under contract and we have a community meeting tonight uh, to introduce that project to the city. Uh, it's gonna be a tremendous mixed use uh, development, uh, which will provide affordable housing that is affordable uh, and retail components and amenities and a destination and a pavilion. So uh, really excited about it. Our company is very invested in this, uh, in, in this community and uh, you know, thanks for having us. Anthony, from a, from a standpoint of they've got a first project, now it's on to the second project and dovetailing with a third. Mm -hmm. How special is this to work with an established firm that's got a commitment to the Valley? I think it's really fantastic. I mean, I, I, I've had the opportunities to spend most of my career working in uh, historic places, uh, many of them nationally registered historic districts uh, across the Southeast and the Mid-Atlantic area. And the, 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 the best places always come from the best people. And so to have the opportunity to work with a company like HDP that has uh, not made just one commitment to this community, but three, means that they're they're here, they're invested. And so we know that we're gonna be able to do some really great work with them, you know, that we're gonna be able to produce some really great urbanism and some really great, great architecture in that context. Todd, what was the biggest draw to come to Winchester and the Shenandoah Valley? Oh, there's, there's, a, there's a lot. I mean, I mean, so uh, proximity to Washington, D.C., the beauty of Shenandoah Valley, the history, the culture, uh, the people, um, you know, we think some of these developments are going to help retain uh, uh, the talent, not have them leave going forward. Um, you know, it's just, it's a really a special place. Uh, Anthony, same question to you. I mean, you're familiar with DC, historical places, your background in Savannah, Georgia. How easy was it to, to pick up this project and, and run with it? Uh, it was, it was, well, <laughs> Let me let me back up. I was about to say it was incredibly easy, but uh, but working in a historic place is never easy, right? There's there's so much history you have to take into account. There's 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 so many personalities and people, and and, and when I say person personalities, I don't mean just the people. I also mean the buildings and the blocks and the streets, right? Because every place is unique and has developed um, like Winchester over hundreds of years uh, with its own unique character and its own unique story. And so you have to understand that um, as you go into a historic place, and that's something that's always really exciting. Um, the, the best projects come from having constraints, right? Things that you can actually uh, work with that help define the project and give it character. Um, you know, the Winchester's proximity to, to DC is really fantastic because the last two years, as many, many of, I'm sure your viewers know, uh, has really changed the way the world operates, right? It's changed the way we work in particular. Um, and so, you know, no longer are people necessarily always tied to you know that building on that street to go to work, right? It, uh, the, the the recent uh, health crisis has has made work from home and work remote uh, much more of a thing. Everybody who was sort of dipping their toe in the water with that, you know, three years ago is sort of fully on board now, and so it opens up the opportunity for people who've always wanted to live in a place like Winchester, but couldn't because their job was in D.C. Uh, and that, that hour and 10 minute commute was just not feasible for them with their kids and their family, um, it, it, it makes that possible and that's really exciting. And so our job, uh, particularly on Fairmont Avenue, is to, is to create more neighborhood for those people. Um, I, I often talk about the difference between uh, a project and a place. Um, you know, projects can be done anywhere, but places are very hard to create and they, and, and they work really well when they become part of a historical narrative, um, which is why I love places like Winchester and why I love Savannah for, you know, the, the 17 years of my career that I spent there in Savannah.
Um, and so that's what we're trying to do on Paramount is, is to create uh, a new place that's part of Old Winchester. Um, and it's going to be really exciting for the people who have the opportunity to do it. Todd, finally, if you can walk us through all the green lights are there, all the permits are there, when do you break ground and when does everything open at both the new projects? Okay, so um, Clark Street, we look to start that here shortly. Uh, you know, COVID was very difficult uh, on senior housing uh, with, uh, with Linden. Uh, we hope we'll start that before the end of the year. Uh, we're excited about that. And I think on Fairmont, we're probably looking at the first quarter of 23. And then grand openings late 23, early 24? Uh, Anthony? <laughs> yeah, I think that's, that's progress. If, if, you yeah. know, on Fairmont in particular, um, you know, if, if we were breaking ground first quarter of 23, yeah, you're looking at probably, you know, 12, 12 to 14 months of construction to be able to start opening things up. Thank you so much for being so generous with your time and a great project as well. Yeah, thank you for having us. Thank you for having us.